Hey y'all, welcome back to the Decampers. It's me, Nick, and we are getting ready to go on a big camp out that we've organized with a bunch of friends. And I'm gonna take you on that journey. So part of our getting ready to go on a camp out is much different than a lot of people's. Um, it is Wednesday night right now and the first thing that we have to do to prepare for our camp out is drive a load in our semi to Chattanooga, Tennessee and back. We are hoping if all goes well, our loads are ready and everything, that we can make it from we right now we're in west salem springs oklahoma waiting on a load to be ready and then we'll travel to the chattanooga tennessee area drop that load pick up another one and head home we are hoping we will be home by noon on friday we've spent the last two weeks kind of preparing the rv i think i've got everything down to where i, I think all i need to really do is load the blackstone throw a couple little things in the RV, hitch up, and head out. Uh, this camp out, we are going to Keystone State Park. It is on the west side of Tulsa, Oklahoma. So we are gonna be showing up dog tired, hosting a camp out, and uh, hauling our RV, setting up and everything. And so this is gonna be quite the experience, quite the challenge, but this is how it goes when we are preparing for camp. These uh, hauling these loads through the week. I mean, it is like hustle, hustle, hustle to try to get home early enough to make it to a camp out at a decent time. So I'm gonna wait a little while longer. I think our load should be ready in a couple hours. Um, it is eight o'clock. So I'm gonna give you guys some little shots of what it is like for our uh, pre-pre-gaming. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll try to get some clips of uh, dealing with the semi and everything for you guys. Well, I just woke up. Our load finally got done really super late, and we are now in Franklin, Tennessee, stopping for some fuel. David's uh, getting the fuel, cleaning the windshields, and uh, then I'm sure we'll pull over to a parking spot, and it's time to switch drivers. So I just woke up, now it's my turn, and um, we have about 150 miles more to go till our drop in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And then we will grab another trailer at the same place and start heading back home. Um, we are, that load was so late that we are like, oh my gosh, how are we even gonna get to camp? But uh, we're gonna soldier on, we're gonna get it done. David's got the truck windows all cleaned up. Ready to go. You don't want to go trucking? <laughs> you don't want to go truck driving. All right, let's watch David drive this thing and get this into a parking spot. Uh oh, no pressure. Here, I'll try to do a hard one. You're going to do a hard one? They're not going to be able to see it, really. Uh, that's right. Okay, I'll just do a full thing. Yeah, we're not going to show the outside of the truck much because we're not trying to let the crazy people know, like, what company we work for. So, yeah, this is a truck stop at Franklin, Tennessee that we always stop at and get fuel. And uh, it has really great areas for walking the dogs. 
Honestly, it's one of the dog's favorite places. Like, yeah. Yeah, up on this big hill right there. They really like walking there. semi boys and girls you did a good job there 10 9 or 9 or 10 that's, 10 that's right don't forget them cv handles mine's a baby bear oh my god <laughs> i just kid well you got it in there without trading paint yeah so now what david has to do is he has to like clock uh go to that's basically our time card and everything time clock right there and he's got to now tell the time clock that he is um, going to start a post trip inspection of the truck and the trailer. Which is the end of your shift. So. Yeah, which is the end of his shift. So then when he's done doing that, then he'll come in here and switch it to sleeper, which means he's in the back of the truck where the sleeper berth is at. Yeah, about time to go to bed. But yes. we're going to hang out going down the road for a little bit, so it's about time to go walk the dogs, huh? Yeah. Just hook to the next one. Now I've got a little paperwork to do and I need to scale it, make sure all my weight is correct. And then it is hit the road and get to camp. So next scene uh, will probably be home, hooking up the RV and getting ready to roll out. Holy cow, you guys, it's getting hot. We made it home. Uh, we made a little bit better time than we expected, and uh, we hitched up. And right now we are at the Quick Trip um, on the east side of Tulsa, Oklahoma, at a truck stop Quick Trip. We just can't get away from the semis. Oh, right there. But anyways, uh, so David's running in to pick up some Carmex and some drinks. 
I'm gonna scrub the windshield and then we're gonna hit the road. We have probably another 40 minutes to get to the other side of Tulsa. You want to dance? What did you say? You like a what? I like a, I like a thin, thin pancake. Like me? Or no? Hey guys, so uh, we're here at 8 o'clock in the, well, 9 o'clock well, we, in the morning. Yeah, we actually got it before 9. This is usually way before our wake up time, but we're out here having a pancake social with the club and it's uh, turning out really good. We're all having a good time. Yeah, the pancakes are smelling yummy. David has mastered pancake batter mixing. Our uh, friend Rusty, who y'all probably know if you've seen some of our videos, yeah, is Rusty here Moore, us make the pancakes. Four more adventures. So, teamwork makes the dream work, right? <laughs> I can't even believe uh, we managed to get up this early because last night we had a time. Mm -hmm. We partied hard last night. It was a fun time. Everybody was having a blast. Um, old friends are here, new friends were here, and just having a great time. Yeah. So uh, I'll try to get you guys a little footage. Um, I'm looking forward to at noon. We were having a a three-part relay race so uh, that's gonna be hilarious oh yeah that's gonna be fun so we'll have to get some of that for you guys all right here goes the first green country camp out relay race on three one two three y'all are pretty close Oh, you're close. All right, team one is pulling ahead. <laughs> oh, 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 you got it. Oh man, it's, it's gonna be close. Okay, Randy, hurry. Run run to the basket, Randy. Oh, on the back, on the back. <laughs> oh, my God. Hold it. Oh, you got the basket backwards. Your basket's backwards. <laughs> Who's saying she? I didn't say it, sorry. Oh my god. Go to the bucket. Oh, oh, you gotta hold it tighter. Oh, you're getting it. <laughs> it's going to take multiple turns. Oh my, that's gonna take. <laughs> hey, Rusty's got practice at that. One more. Oh, you almost had it. You keep catching it. There you go. Okay, now we gotta do the Y'all, it is like a dead heat tie.
Yeah. That's team one, right? Yeah. Team one, one. Are you guys ready to hear what the prize is? The winning team gets to go to the cookout buffet first. <laughs> Oh, at the potluck, you get to get in line first. Yay! I'll wait for it. Okay. Sorry, man. I was just like, they taste spectacular. Oh, do you? Can't eat it on yours. Oh, look at that. Get them some more. That's all right. No, they need to taste it. Okay, are we ready to announce the winner of the Strawberry Social Dessert Contest? So the second runner up, um, well, Wait, is nothing. the strawberry pie. Yeah. Do, you, do we know who's Everybody that is? is it was his. <laughs> um, and it was good, period. Um, um, yeah. Anyway, so first runner up was the strawberry, the pink cake thing. Who ever made that? Who made the pink cake? With the strawberries around the edges? Yes. That. Oh! oh. Okay, so drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. First place was John. And I'm going to tell y'all, John is my cousin, and that shit was not rigged. <laughs> See what you it want, was John. It really good, though. It was red velvet cake that I baked, that I mixed with cream cheese icing and layered it in the dish. And then Cool Whip and then fresh strawberries layered after layered. Let's mm. we'll see what you want. I want a pie dish and I'm going to use that. Fuck Emily guys. Henry made in France from Williams Sonoma. Yes. All right. Congratulations, John. Now I can put my other two in the garage sale. <laughs>